Hi, this is Dr. Jenny, here to explain how to wear a mask and how to breathe behind it properly. First things first is make sure that the mask fits your face properly. You want the mask to snugly fit your face so it's hugging your face. Make sure that it's not smushing your nose. If you can see, this mask has a nice beak-like shape, more like the beak of a bird. It creates a little space for my nose. Why is it so important to have space for your nose? Does anyone know the function of the nose? Some might say to smell, and that's true, but the most important thing about the nose is that we breathe through it all the time, that it's the way to breathe. Mouth breathing is very bad. Other things that the nose do does is it filters the air, it sterilizes the air, it cleans the air. It also warms the air and gives you the right volume. The mouth, when you breathe through the mouth, it creates a lot more volume. And if you use your mouth to breathe, it'll stuff your nose. You want to make sure that your nose handles the volume of air and you slow down your breathing. Now, your mouth. How do you position your mouth behind that mask? Everybody try this exercise. You're going to click. Click your tongue. Suck it up to the roof of your mouth and click. Now, close your mouth with your tongue gently up on the roof your teeth lightly meeting, and your lips relaxing together. Okay, so the main points are wear a mask that nicely hugs your face, use your nose to breathe and make sure it's not compressing. The nose will filter, sterilize, warm, and bring in the right volume. Slow down your breath through your nose. And the last thing is make sure your mouth is in the right posture. The tongue needs to be up on the roof of the mouth, the teeth lightly meeting, and the lips relaxed but together. Let's all stay safe wearing our masks during school this year.